My name is Grace Darlin. I was born in 1815 in Bamborough, a small seaside village in Northumberland, the youngest of eight children. I spent the first few weeks of my life at my grandfather's cottage, in sight of Bamborough Castle. But when I was just three weeks old, my mother took me to join my brothers and sisters on Brownsman Island, a remote part of the Farn Islands, where my father was the lighthouse keeper. We lived in a small cottage, which was attached to the lighthouse, and we were all very happy on Brownsman Island. But then, when I was ten, my father announced that the family was moving to a new lighthouse that had just been built at Longston, an even more remote location in the Farn Islands. Then, some years later, came the day that would change my life forever. September the 7th, 1838. A huge storm was blowing, and enormous waves were crashing against the lighthouse. I was 22 years old now, and all my brothers and sisters left home. Only my parents and I remained in the lighthouse. I couldn't sleep that night. At about five o'clock in the morning, I looked out my bedroom window and straining my eyes through the gloom, I thought I could see a ship in trouble. I ran up to the lantern room at the top of the lighthouse where mother was on watch and where father came to join us. We looked out from the top of the lighthouse and through the crashing waves and the howling wind, we could just make out the shape of the wrecked ship on some rocks and what looked like some survivors. I was desperate to attempt a rescue immediately, but father said it was too dangerous and that we had to wait until daybreak. By seven o'clock, it was light enough for us to be able to see the survivors clearly, and I was determined to help them, come what may. So, feeling both nervous and excited, I helped father to launch our rowing boat into the raging sea. The little boat bobbed up and down, waves broke over the side and at times it seemed certain we would capsize but slowly and steadily we steered our way through the storm to the shipwreck father jumped onto the rocks to help the survivors while I remained in the rowing boat using all my strength to keep the boat steady and to stop it being smashed on the rocks then father helped some of the nine survivors on board and we set off back to the lighthouse it was a terrifying and difficult journey, but finally we made it. And then father and two of the rescued men rode back to the wreck for the remaining survivors. After that extraordinary day, my life changed forever. The story of a young woman risking her own life to rescue others was on the front page of all the newspapers. And each time father made a trip to the mainland, he returned with letters and presents for me from well-wishers. One letter came from Queen Victoria herself. If you ever come to Bamborough, you'll see the Great Castle. And in the grounds of the village church, you'll find my memorial. It looks out to sea, to the Farn Islands, and my lighthouse home, and to the place where, one stormy day, in 1838, I was able to use my courage and determination to do something extraordinary.